elementary school in the West Valley remains closed this morning, and this means some big changes for both parents and students now forced to go to other schools just to attend class. Yeah, not just today, but as we get closer to the weekend as well. I want to get you out to our Amelia Fabiano, and all of this, Amelia, started because of a roll of toilet paper and it being set on fire in a bathroom. Yeah, Kaylee, pretty wild. This saga has been going on for almost two days now, and we're not done. So that happened at Horizon Elementary School in the Glendale Elementary School District. We know that school is going to stay closed at least today and tomorrow. So this school right here behind me, Desert Garden Elementary School, is one of the alternate sites that's set up to get kids back into class from Horizon. As you mentioned, this all started with some toilet paper lit on fire in a bathroom stall at Horizon on Tuesday. It filled the nearby hallway with smoke. We know no students or staff were hurt, but the district says the closure is to allow firefighters to do air quality tests inside the school. The district says they're checking for carbon dioxide, and when they get clearance, school will return to normal there. So here's how the alternate locations are organized. The district announced on social media how and where students are being relocated. Leaders have arranged students by name. So listen to this if you're impacted. Those whose last names start with an A through E will go to Bicentennial North School. F through O last name should go to the district system of care center and P through Z last names should go to where we are here at Desert Garden Elementary School. The school's start and stop times at these temporary sites, excuse me, will remain the same as those at Horizon. Some parents though say they're frustrated they're, they and their kids have to go through this. It's like, how do you explain that? How do you comfort them? How do you, you know, it's not normal. And it's just, it's sad that I have to explain it. It's frustrating that we have to rearrange our lives to try to, to try to do this. Yeah, definitely going to be a different kind of week for them. So parents who need to pick up their students' belongings from inside Horizon Elementary that maybe got left there during that evacuation must contact the school's principal to figure out how to get that. We know the school, again, is going to remain closed at least through tomorrow. School officials say they are cooperating with law enforcement on the investigation. Reporting live this morning in the West Valley, Amelia Fabiano, ABC 15 Arizona. Five